Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, my people? Shit, I just want to talk about, you know, uh, some type of, you know, certain sellers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got guys out here that do this all the time. They will, they will, you know, breed up a bunch of dogs, uh, not seeing what these dogs are capable of, not seeing what type of traits these dogs passes, and just breed dogs to dogs based on pedigrees. And then, uh, after five years of breeding puppies like that, they got 50, 60 dogs, and they say everything must go, but they trying to sell it. And they were trying to sell it the whole time. They might be selling it, but shit, it's still about what they was going to get anyway. Uh, and they be like, a whole sellout. You know what I'm saying? We doing everything must go type of sale, right? I'm getting out the dogs. Then be right back in three years. Y'all getting the money to go fuck up another line. Because that's what they doing. They out here fucking up lines, man. And not not seeing, not touching, not not doing that, but talking about what they dogs is and what they dogs do. I mean, bloodlines is and the pedigree look like this and the pedigree look like that. And this going to go good with that. You don't know until you got down. You got to see something to know something. Like, if you don't see nothing, how do you know? Like, two dogs can, bloodline can, can, can look great on paper, but the dog's attributes didn't match to it with the other dog's attributes. Like, you know, a lot of people like to say uh, certain dogs carry certain traits and they heart mouth curves because they bite hard. And the hog ain't never stopped them. But they say, so you put a good dog, you know, you put a good dog on any dog. The better dog gonna be on top, you know, historically speaking. You put a monstrous hog on any dog. One dog, this hog would destroy the dog. How many? Going to take that punishment and keep trying to chase that hog. There's not a lot of them going to do that. You know, most hogs is trash because they bred from trash, by trash. Uh, you know, because they just roamers. You know, you can't breed like, like, like wild animals. You need to be thinking when you do a breeding you got to know what you breed why you breeding it ask these questions write down i'm gonna think of some questions like this you know i just talk you know this coming straight out my dome i don't i don't, I don't think about nothing nobody said to me i don't think about nothing i don't read this just shit that i think about when i'm thinking like You know, it been a, it been a good minute since I did a breed. I got enough. I ain't seen everything I need to see. You know, well, they ain't even growed up so I can see everything I need to see. You know, you know, I can assume. You know, cause I do assume some doing. You know, some at a better spot than others. Some, uh, I lean towards more than others. Because where they at and how they at and, and, and things in that nature. Uh, some, you know, you never liked them and they never seem to uh, get your attention. But sometimes they do because they have, you know. I want a big Gaga fan until, you know, she matured. And best decision in the world, keeping her. You know, best bitch on my yard. <laughs>
Hands down. Anybody can tell you that no. Hands down. You know. Trust that bitch with my last, with my last goddamn, with my last, with my last competition, nigga. Put that, put my life on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's how serious that shit is. Uh, phenomenal, you know. That, that just, just say how it is. Phenomenal. I, I, I can't. My old bitch don't like goddamn kibble and shit. So I was just looking at that. But, yeah. Uh, these questions, man, you need to ask yourself, like, why? Like, write this down. Just put it in the pad before you do a breed. Check all these boxes before you breed too dog. Why am I making this breed? If you don't like your answer, there it go. You know, there it go. You know, but you can get around it a little bit easier than, than the next one. Why should this female be bred? You see what I'm saying? Now solely put it on this. You know, why should this male be bred? Both ways. That's one question. You know what I'm saying? First one together, then second, you picking each one on part. Second, you picking each one on part. If you don't like your answer, don't breed them. Oh, uh, um, your third one on both dogs that you plan on breed match right the abilities of the male and right the abilities of the female. If you lacking something. That's important. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, neither one of them, neither one of them got mouth nor game. <laughs> or smart. If that ain't in, 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 in these two dogs, you missing those attributes. It's it probably best not to, you know, even worry about trying to breed these dogs, man. I'm, I'm just being honest. You know, if you're going to breed, 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 breed something you like, you know. Don't, don't just breed two dogs, man. That shit, that shit trash to me, man. Don't just breed two dogs because you got two dogs. And think that shit going to work, man. The shit don't work like that. See, people, people like to do shit like that because of the the old dog mans and, and the dogs that produced that didn't do nothing. But they came off of dogs top and bottom that did something. You see what I'm saying? And the blood can, you know what I'm saying, fucking with these genetics, you know, you can get a lot of the genetic traits of the daddy, a lot of the genetic traits of the mother, a lot of genetic traits of the granddaddy, or a lot of genetic traits of the uh, grandmother. You never know which dog pulling from where. You just know the breeding work or not. But inside of those four dogs, that four dog box, but it'll be a check, 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 and check. 
when you decide to breed a below average or cold or ungained type of dog. Those four boxes better be all checks. Cause shit coming back around. If you fuck it up. So that just a little little topic I wanted to talk about. Uh, don't fall for the yard blowout seals. They don't like them fucking dogs. That's why it's the yard blowout seal. They don't they don't fucking like them dogs. They don't want them dogs no more. And they trying to change their fucking yard over. They probably got one one out in the fucking yard that they'll keep to go along with the other. But they done bred up a bunch of bullshit the same way everybody else do it. Oh, this look like it'll go good with this. This gonna go good with that. It eat bo- this G G Eli Bolio Red Boy Jocko Tombstone uh blood. Uh 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 this this Red Boy Jocko Bolio Tombstone Eli Ball blood. Some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Then then I'm gonna take it to the daddy. Then I'm, I'm gonna take this this puppy back to the daddy. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna breed brother and sister breed. Them dogs ain't fucking doing nothing, man. I'm just just bred up tight for nothing. You know what I'm saying? The percentage low in those types of breedings, man. Now, if you get a good one out of that, you got a good one. A real good one. But if you selling, I promise you, your chances of getting a fucking good daddy daughter breeding if you sell your little and keep one is that fucking one you got percentage wise if it's 10 that's 10 percent chance because ain't a lot of them coming out that motherfucker that's why you don't hear about oh uh, like double double chinaman double chinaman breed uh four made champion you don't hit three made champion for that you don't hear about that because those not the dogs that that was capable of carrying the attributes like that only one you will hear about like that you won't hear about little mates and brothers and sisters of that you know what i'm saying well it was a couple out of china little it was a good little that was the 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 fish go uh who all it was shit I don't forgot the damn little it was three of them I think all three of them dogs did good but ain't a lot of them like that China was special and if you breed some average you you you's not gonna get that same result I'm just sorry uh you can copy the plan but the plan don't work without the right man or the right one man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. <laughs> Look at the Jeep. Take the Jeep. One of the, one of the greatest littles. The Jeep, Charlie, and his other two siblings all made the uh, <laughs> champion. You see what I'm saying? All them made champion. Dumb ain't, dumb ain't no fucking super inbred dogs or none of that shit. Good dogs on top. Good dog on bottom. Period. You put a family of good dogs on top. And a family of good dogs on the bottom. The inbreed is because you got a good dog from what you did. And to get it, you have to come to the source, and that would be the source, and you would be the source. That's why people inbreed on their yard. I wouldn't sell a dog that I dump it up on. Like, if I breed Pepper to one of his daughters, or when I do it, you'll hear about it. But 
<laughs> nothing for grab, brother. Like nothing. If I do a brother and sister tight inbreeding, nothing is fucking for grabs. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find out who the what the best one to go chase these, catch these hogs with that I got. The one that I can enter, the one that just confirmation sounds his hip good. He, 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 I like everything about him, and plus he can catch a hog. You see what I'm saying? That's the one that I will be keeping to further the legacy that I'm trying to be of myself. And this is what I think and how I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. Best the best beat the rest. Big Kenneth. I'm out. <laughs>